Welcome to a new episode of Mythbusters with our university physician, Dr. David Weissmantle, the expert in everything that we're learning about this experience in this pandemic of COVID-19 and the person who is keeping us informed about what is happening and changing with each passing day. So welcome, Dr. Weissmantle. Thank you. Um, so today we want to address two things. We want to address what it means to quarantine and what it is that you should do or expected to do or how you should behave while quarantining. And the second thing is, how is that different from isolating and what the expectations are for you if you are asked to isolate? So I will be quiet and just leave it to you to address those two topics. Thank you. All right. If you, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to start with isolating because if you, if you are not feeling well and you have a cough or fever or any of the other COVID symptoms, um, as part of filling out your daily health survey, if you do that, you will be asked to isolate as you will be asked to isolate if you actually are diagnosed with COVID-19. So isolation is meant for those that are sick, meaning sick pending a diagnosis, like you're going for testing or your testing is pending, or you are positive and you are asked to isolate. And what isolation means is that you are going to stay in your place of residence, wherever you, wherever you decide to stay during that period of time. And that generally you're going to stay in, if you are living with others, you need to stay in a single room in that residence, typically your bedroom, uh, only to come out as needed to maybe get some nourishment or use the restroom. And we typically tell people in isolation who are sick to use a separate restroom from everybody else in the household. And if they are unable to do that, to carefully wipe down with a disinfectant the restroom after you use it. So isolation is meant for those that are sick uh, and are diagnosed with COVID-19. The period of time for isolation is typically 10 days as measured from either the first day that you got symptoms of COVID-19 or if you don't have any symptoms and you got the test because you were in close contact from the test date. So it's 10 days of isolation. And so you can, uh, oftentimes, like if you started getting symptoms at noon, it would be 10, noon, 10 days later. Oftentimes we just tell people that they can return that next day, basically day 11 to their normal activities. And that's the best way to do it, to keep everybody safe. That's isolation. Quarantine is what we ask people to do who have been exposed to somebody who has the virus. And this is the one that is really difficult to uh, get across. And we're, this is something that we know that we uh, uh, are going to need to repeatedly communicate. So quarantine is for those that have had contact with somebody with the virus, close contact. And that is always 14 days of spending time, typically as almost as uh, alone as you would in isolation away from others and not sharing as much as possible spaces with others especially sharing spaces with others without masks and social distancing the reason for that is, is if you're in that period of quarantine that if you would start to feel ill then you would have exposed other people to the virus at that time who then you would be that they would need to quarantine for 14 days past that point in time. So both of them are asking almost the same thing from people to spend time in a certain area of their residence away from other people. Um, and I don't know if there would be a follow-up question, but I will add that the quarantine is 14 days because that is by what we know how long it can take somebody from the time they're exposed 
to the time they may actually develop symptoms or develop COVID-19. Most people develop it within four to five days, but there are people that it takes 10 to 14 days to begin to develop symptoms. So that is why it's for 14 days. And that is also why um, I have seen, and I hear every day, many students are getting tests done when they are being asked to quarantine and they say, my test is negative, that doesn't change the 14 day quarantine. Because the test is negative today does not mean that it won't be positive uh, in a day or two or three from now. And so that actually does, you can't, in public health, we just say you can't test your way out of quarantine. So, and that is a very difficult message because the close contacts actually have a situation as far as socialization and being able to have a relatively normal life that is just as restricted as that of somebody who is isolated that actually has the virus. So I hope that helped Dr. Maybank. Most definitely, Dr. Weissmantle. I am going to do one follow-up question. In either case, isolation or quarantine, is there a reason for you to seek medical attention or advice? Yeah, in either circumstance, I, I'll start with isolation. If you're isolated and you know you have the diagnosis, times to seek medical attention is if you are getting progressive symptoms that are significantly affecting your ability to complete your daily activities, which would be really severe shortness of breath, not being able to speak more than a few words without taking a breath. Uh, severe fatigue, just not being able to get out of bed at all, just feeling terrible like that. Those would be reasons to actually seek medical attention and to come out and perhaps see a provider to address those or call out to a provider to address those issues. For those in quarantine, it could be all of those, but primarily in quarantine, it's that you're beginning to develop any of the primary symptoms of COVID-19 cough, fever, shortness of breath, uh, nasal congestion, loss of taste and smell, among others, and that you might want, you might come out of that quarantine leave to go out and get a COVID-19 test to see if you are uh, positive at that time. And that would be a, an excellent reason to leave quarantine to be tested. Again, thank you, Dr. You're Weiss. Welcome. We appreciate you clarifying this information and busting up the myths that seem to just be out there and the rumors that are spreading. We need the real facts and you are the source of those facts. So thank you so very much. Mm -hmm.